guys, how are you doing today? Today I am going to show you a little function um, how to adjust your rear backing mirror when you're backing up your car. This goes for the Mercedes, uh, so it goes for a lot of other models as well. I've done it in my E63 and uh, maybe someone might not know how to do it on, in a new one. This function is like sometimes you're backing up and if you're backing up to the curb and you want to you don't want to curb your wheels and on the blind side you want the mirror to kind of tilt down so you could see see um, the side of the car okay? okay for this procedure you'll need to get into the car what I do I usually turn the engine on okay then you look over here you see the mirror is at normal so now what you're gonna do you're gonna push for the passenger side mirror put the car into reverse so once the car is into reverse then you go over here and you adjust the mirror down or to wherever you want to have it so you can see the curb whatever makes you feel comfortable when you, you can see the curb then after that after you have the mirror set like that then you put the car back into drive when you put it back into drive you'll notice it's over here and it's not moving but as soon as you start driving away see the mirror goes back up all right so now that function is already set so it's set to where you desire for it to be so now I'm gonna put the car I'm gonna put it back into reverse and there you go that's it you're done back up here okay now I've already had that function set and I'm gonna show you something now if I go ahead now and I push say you you adjusted this mirror and you push that button there okay you wanted to adjust this mirror and then you know okay so say for instance you wanted to go back into reverse i'm gonna put the car into reverse all of a sudden now the mirror does not want to like you know you see me i'm here in reverse now the mirror does not want to go anywhere the reason being is because now you have it set onto that mirror over here it's trained on this mirror so you have to literally push this button back again for that function to operate again so if you notice sometimes you get in the car and you notice the car is not doing it because sometimes these two lights will be off and you may not know the last mirror or say somebody else drove the car and they adjusted this mirror and you're trying to find out like hey why is this function not working anymore it's because this this one is on you have to put it back you have to push this button and make sure it's see it's illuminated you have to make sure it's, it's running on this mirror for that function to always be operating so I hope in any which way form that this is somewhat helpful to anyone because sometimes even I go through my own videos to find out how to do something when I forget how to do it. I literally go back to my own videos and look at them. So until then, I'll stay tuned for more videos to come and I hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe to the channel. It supports me and I hope you guys have a great day. Okay. Thank you. Bye.